This is a beautiful early spring day here in Raleigh, North Carolina. They've already planted some whatever those are. <laughs> Sorry, all you horticulturalists. Anyway, the uh, few flowers are coming up in our front yard. Tulips over here at the base of this tree. It's going to get up to about 65 degrees today, so I decided to come on up and paint. And I'm going to paint a historical landmark here in Raleigh. It's called, well, it ought to be called the Mordecai House, named after one of the original founding families, Jewish family of Raleigh. It's called the Mordecai House. So go figure. I'm particularly enjoying the, the freestanding chimney, the uh, ivy on this tree, and the dimensionality of the dark branches in front of the house. So that's what I'm going to try to capture. And I'm taking a particular challenge here. I don't know if you've watched any of my live Ustream painting experiments, but when I do painting on Ustream, I do an entire painting in 90 minutes, which is outrageous. But some of them have turned out quite nicely. I'm not gonna try to do it in 90 minutes, but here's what I am gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do my acrylic. Got my acrylic paints just about ready to go. Gonna try to do the acrylic stage for no more than one hour and switch to oils and finish that in an hour and see if I can finish a nice painting in two hours. Well, so far so good. I've been at it about 10 minutes, painting furiously with both hands. You've seen me do that if you've seen many, many of my other videos. Literally painting like a crazy man. I'm experimenting with another element in my painting and that is in my underpainting, keeping all the, the paint thin and flat. That allows me great flexibility in the later stages. I found sometimes when I come to do the final layers of the painting, there are bumps that I wish weren't there. So this is part of my new Save the Bumps for Last campaign. So that's why all the white stuff that you see here is all smeared out because I've taken this fuzzy, wonderful, cheap brush that is damp and, and brushed it all out, which also gives me kind of an interesting glow. We'll see how much of that remains in the final painting. Okay, next thing I'm, I'm going to do is go over that white with yellow, orange, red, maybe blue, green, who knows. And that just took a few seconds, 40 seconds maybe, to do yellow, orange, and red. Now I'm going to come back and do some more careful drawing with, with a dark tone. There, my acrylic stage is done. And I'm only 45 minutes in, so I'm ahead of schedule. Yeah, it's just two hours and I'm pretty close to being done. All done. Thanks for watching.